Good afternoon. Today is a, an endometriosis day, so I would like to spend a few moments to talk about endometriosis. I will discuss what endometriosis is, what's the relationship between endometriosis and infertility, and what's the best treatment for endometriosis. So I know this is a very common disease and there's so many informations, there's so many recommendations, there's so many talk about endometriosis. So I try to use the three to four minutes to summarize the most important part of endometriosis you need to know as a patient trying to get pregnant and think you may have endometriosis. Okay, I need your help to accomplish my go in the next three to four minutes. What I want you to do is sit steady and focus. So what the endometriosis is? First, let's talk, talk about what is endometrium. So this is the uterus and this is the uterine cavity. That's where the embryo implant and baby grow. So the covering cells around this uterine cavity above the muscle is called endometrium. Every month, endometrial grow, ready for the embryo to implant. If no implantation, the endometrials, endometrium will shed out, and that's make it a menses. Okay. So what is endometriosis? Endometriosis meaning that this kind of endometrium are grown in a place which is not inside uterine cavity, could be on the tubes, most commonly on the ovaries actually can be in the belly or many many places now why how this happened that's a different subject we don't need to get into too much of discussion but you just remember endometriosis meaning that my endometrial grow outside of my uterine cavity that's called endometriosis every month when endometrial start to grow to have a menses when you're in the in this cavity it will come out but if it's in this Places it may just stay there, getting bigger and bigger. That's why patients usually feel pain when they have a menses. And when this menses, uh, with this endometriosis is getting bigger and bigger, they contain with a large quantity of old blood, which looks like chocolate. That's why sometimes it's called a chocolate cyst. So this endometriosis. Second thing I want to talk about how. Could endometriosis affect the fertility? Many, many, many factors. Endometriosis may cause the inferior environment, which makes embryo very hard to implant. Endometriosis may not make good quality eggs. Endometriosis may cause blockage of the tubes. Endometriosis may cause the hormone profile change, which prevent the embryo to grow to reach to the full terms. So every single step in making a healthy life birth can be affected by endometriosis. However, the most common reason to cause infertility in endometriosis is only one, which makes the tubes are less functional make the egg and the sperm have a hard time to meet each other in the tube. This is the major reason endometriosis causing fatigue. Even though I described so many, but you really just need to remember one thing. Endometriosis makes sperm and egg hard to meet each other. Second most common phenomenon, not necessarily a reason to cause infertility. Endometriosis most commonly grow on the ovaries. So you may compromise the ovarian reserve. So while it's not always the case, but patient with the endometriosis tend to have low ovarian reserve. But I want to emphasize, the quality of the egg is usually not compromised, okay? Now we're gonna talk about what's the best treatment. It all depends on one thing, your age. If you are 35 years or younger and you have very good ovarian reserve, and then you will try everything possible to see if you can conceal it by yourself in the standard of the procedure you even can discuss about with surgeon doing the surgery 
using a procedure called the laparoscopy. Basically, make a couple of keyholes on your belly. Go inside, take a look at it to see if you have various kinds of endometriosis. And then you can try to clean up the endometriosis. As I said, the major reason endometriosis, endometriosis causing infertility is a compromise the meeting of the egg and the sperm in the tube. So this uh, minimal invasive surgery can clean up the endometriosis and help the sperm and egg to meet each other again. With the increase of uh, popularity of in vitro fertilization, and relatively speaking, it's more invasive than surgery. So it, the modern trend is that endometriosis is more and more common are treated by in vitro fertilization rather than surgeries. Now, if you have clinical symptoms, you have a pain, you have many other kind of uncomfortableness, you may need a surgery to fix it. So that's for a different purpose. That's all you need to know about endometriosis. Treatment. The best treatment of endometriosis is to minimize menstrual cycles. So when you're pregnant, you don't have monthly menstrual cycles. So this actually is one of the treatments to become pregnant. That's why we say endometriosis and the infertility, they are chickens and eggs, which comes first. But you just need to remember one thing. One of the efficient treatments of endometriosis is to become pregnant. Other treatment is very much to make you like a Zulu pregnant, such as taking birth control pill to minimize the menstrual cycle, such as taking different kind of more powerful injection to stop your menstrual cycle. And everything to do is with reducing the normal process of egg production to accomplish treatment for endometriosis. So that is all you need to know. And if you remember what I said, the above, you are set. Have a nice day.